All right, welcome guys. Today for our journey, I'm going to show you a gigantic Ganesh statue that's right out here in the middle of nowhere. All right, so about an hour and a half out of Bangkok and here we are. So join me. Not too far from the Ganesh temple along the river is this nice Buddhist temple. We're not gonna stop by there today, but I just wanted to show you. That's a nice, nice little Buddha sitting on the river. Wow, what a find. This temple complex, just right out here in the middle of a bunch of rice paddies and uh, next to the Bang Patong, Bang Patong, however you say it, river, right outside of Bangkok. And it's just, it's like so quiet. There's just nothing, nothing out here. There's a few fish farms and stuff like that. But other than that, it's just a big old Ganesh statue sitting out here in the middle of all of this countryside. So very relaxing. There's not too many people at the temple itself. It's really, really quiet. So we're gonna go inside and, and check it out. But anyway, let's look around, just give you a quick uh, scan of the area. So let me say that again, Bang Pak Kong River. You can see the water hyacinths floating by. There's the river or the bridge you have to come over to get here. There's another temple over there, but there's just not a lot here. Really, really quiet. So this Ganesh statue is just massive. I mean, you can see it from miles and miles around and it's just standing here. So it looks like the Ganesh has a knife in one hand and a rat in the other. The Ganesh at the last temple that we looked at, the dragon temple on the river there was just a, his horn in one hand and then a lotus leaf in another hand but this one here has four things in his hands i don't know what the significance of the others are maybe we'll be able to see when we get up a little closer but everything here is really cool there's just it's pretty empty not many people maybe because it's midweek but uh it's also quite a ways out so how to get here the only way i would say to get here is to plug something into the GPS and come out here uh, in a taxi. It's kind of way out of the way. There's not any public transport close by. So a taxi would be your best bet. Probably could hire for 400 baht, have a taxi bring you out here and then pay them a little extra to wait for you and then take you back. So you'd probably be into it for, you know, about a thousand baht, 1,200 baht for a half day trip out here. And it's about, an hour, hour and 15 minutes outside of Bangkok. And it's in Cha Cheng Sao, which is a little province right next to Bangkok itself, between Chonburi and Bangkok. So right in front of the big Ganesh statue, they have some of these other poses of some of the other Hindu gods. That one there is Sunday. Over here's Monday. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday in the morning. So it has the different poses for each of the other days of the week. And over there will be the other days. So what you would do is you would, you know, you would know the day of the week you were born on before you came here. And then you'd come here and pray to uh, whichever day of the week you were born on. Try to make some merit, wish for good fortune and wealth and all of that. If you're Buddha or Hindu, I guess. Because now this is all Hindu, but the Thais have incorporated a lot of the Hindu stuff into their religion. All right, so here we're right at the base of the big Ganesh statue. So they have a rat here. Now, part of the mythology of the rat is you can come up and you can whisper like what you want in its ear, as long as you cover the other ears. So the story will stay in the rat's head and it's supposed to go up to the Ganesh and uh, 
deliver your message. And if, if it's still in his ear, then he'll take it to the Ganesh and your dr wish or your dream will come true. So here's some of the offerings that the people have left for him. I mean, this is just a spectacular temple right out here in the middle of nowhere. It's just kind of one of those things that I guess you have to be around here to find it. And I'll leave the comment, I'll, I'll leave the description of this if you're inclined to come and see it. But this is standing at the base of the statue itself. As a concrete pedestal that it's sitting on, they've laid the stones on and up at the bottom of it, they've left the marble and then the inlay. So this actually doesn't look completed. And I did see a sign on one of the buildings that said what year it was, and it was in Thai and it was 2557, which I believe the Buddhist calendar that was, it's 2,563 now. So that was six years ago when they started building this complex, I guess. So, so maybe as it gets more popular, this will be a lot more crowded. But it really is a quite a nice place. At the base of the statue, they have the little rats here. Looks like the hours as it closes at six o'clock. So it's open from nine in the morning until six o'clock at night. And it's just surrounded by jungle. You have a nice koi fish pond at the base of it also. So it looks like there's nothing here. This shrine looks like it's closed. Can't see the main Buddha image in there. This looks like maybe some of the main donors. If they donated like 1 million baht, they can get their name up here. Oh, I told you wrong. This was dedicated in 2552. So this is all 11 years old. It looks like he has a rat eating, maybe like the rambutan right at the bottom. It looks like in that hand is a bird. And there's the lotus leaf. Okay, so so he has a sword, a lotus leaf, and a bird, and something else in the other hand, uh, the horn in the other hand. So this is the whole complex here that you see, and it's just spectacular. I mean, this is really, really nice. It's a way out of the way, but definitely worth a trip up here. One of the little shri side shrines along the walkway here. And I did tell you wrong about those things that are around the base. The sculptures I said was not completed. They are completed, but it's uh, it's just kind of a rough pose of the Ganesh. And it uh, was dedicated by people that helped contribute to this, this temple out here. So it's whatever pose they wanted it to be. And they did it. It's kind of like in a sandstone. So it looks like it's not completed, but it is. All right, guys, so that finishes up our little journey to out here. It was pretty quick, but uh, it's the camera just does not do justice what this place really looks like. Really, really, really cool. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, then click like on it, share it with your friends, subscribe to my content. If you want to see something that I haven't showed you, leave me a comment down below and tell me what you want to see, and I'll try to make a video on it or say something about it. Anyway, guys, remember, life is a journey. It's not where we end up, because we all know where we end at the end, but it's how we get there. All right, enjoy, guys.